unit loss in resources is practically identical, 3150 to 2950 for both players. Thermal Lance has begun, and that first Colossus should be out somewhere. No, it must be just finishing. Second hasn't begun yet. Will begin probably as soon as he can. Uh, Tilo scans perfectly and sees, yep, the robotics bay is right there. Researching that crucial thermal lance. Anybody else notice how graphic this research is? I mean, lo look at that. It's like three huge arms. Did he cancel that? He canceled it. Why did he cancel thermal? He canceled thermal. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, so this is exceptional play by Aeon or uh, Total Biscuit always says the important part about StarCraft, about war, is information. What you have, and more importantly, what your opponent doesn't have. Tilo scans, sees the robotics bay researching, sees the robotics facility, knows that they're going to be Colossus, and instantly begins making Vikings. Knowing that he'll be responding as such, Aeon or cancels the Thermal Lance, cancels an investment into the tech, but decides to drop three gateways and a Twilight Council that will no doubt be used either to transition up into Templar tech, maybe for Charge Lot Archon, or let's see if he gets Blink or Charge. That will be the Telltale. Blink it is. He's on seven gate now. Here we have a drop coming over from TLO. Eight Marauders. You think Marines do a little bit higher DPS with the stem, but that's fine. He just wants to get in, see what he can do, harass as much as possible. Both players taking their thirds are moving to do so. Skirmish occurring down here as Tilo tries to scout and probably knows a third is on the way. The drop is coming in. We can see Vikings. There are four or five Vikings on the field. Oh, but now that he sees the Twilight Council and it's researching, he knows. Can he cancel it in time? Is he going to get the money back? No, he doesn't. And so, so smart. TLO immediately starts focusing down the robotics bay, knowing that he's delayed one tech. Now he gets to delay the other to make sure there's no instant switch. Picks up his marauders, heads on out, calls it a day. And at the same time, is moving in with marauders and vikings down to the third to try to delay it, to nullify it, to draw forces away. Fantastic play by TLO. Such amazing game sense. And incredible decision making. Scanning to see, okay, so what, what tech have you re-dropped now? What are you going back into? And honor, well, I mean, what do you do? You've got to, you've got to re-drop tech, but you can't there. Where do you drop it? TLO now has six Vikings on the field. Maybe a little bit over committing if he doesn't if Honor doesn't go into Colossus tech. But that's fine. Because Vikings are so OP that they can actually become land abilities too. Land abilities, land of vehicles, and attack the ground. A little bit of skirmishing here, picking off a pylon, trying to snipe a stalker or two. Especially if he can get these sentries and their crucial, crucial force fields. And this is fantastic. This is exactly what Terrans need to do in every game they play. And this is what TLO does so effectively. Forcing his Protoss opponent to divide forces. The Vikings going to practically two-shot. They end up three-shotting the Colossus. So much power gone. TLO's Marauders stem run, stem run, stem run. The probes pulled off the line to try to absorb damage. And sure enough, the Vikings do land, making most of the DPS he has available, pushing all the damage he can out to destroy as much of the Protoss army as possible. At the same time, he's going to be re-dropping back into the main, and Honor's going to catch this very quickly, but is it going to be enough? Can he warp in enough units? Now, he is able to warp in Zealots right on top of the Marauders. But meanwhile, down in his third, the same Marauders, along with the Vikings, continue to go and pound away into the army. This Viking has four kills. This has two, and the other one died. We won't know how many it had, but it certainly did its job beforehand. Meanwhile, back up in the main, TLO lost most of his Marauder forces, and he'll lose them, continue to lose them as, as more uh, Zealots are warped in. He needs to start mixing in more Marines for the higher DPS. 
especially against the non-armored units. But the multi-pronged attacks always keeping his opponent off the back foot, on the back foot, not allowing him to be comfortable with a large single um, death ball army anywhere in particular, forcing him to draw out everywhere. And at the same time, oh, the Mobius is react. The Mobius reactor's on the way. A ghost academy has been dropped. Where is that? Where is that? No, the Mobius reactor is for the Medivacs. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was way off. So he really wants, um, he wants to make sure his Medivacs are coming out with force plant energy. Is that for? Where is that? I'm gonna get called out by this in the comments so hard. Well, I will research it later. It is being researched now. Probably speaks how much I play Terran when I don't even know what the Mobius Reactor does. Combat shields are being researched. One armor is finishing, and we did see that TLO does have uh, two engineering bays down. So that he can... No, two engineering bay and an armory. I am so off my ball today. Why don't I just look up at the production tab? Two reactors coming down. Templar Archive is about to finish. Blink is being re-researched. There is a ghost on the way. EMPs sure to help nullify as much of the army as possible. And a drop coming back up into the main. A little elevator action going on for TLO. He's going to try to snipe out of this Artosis pylon. It's probably only going to get two warp gates. That's still two fewer warp gates than Honor had before. He's trying to snipe out this next pylon. There's two more warp gates down. Can he get this one? It would shut down so much if he could, and he does. This entire section of buildings all just unpowered. So annoying. Really going to stifle any re re yeah, reinforcements that are going to be helping, or could be helping, but aren't going to be. This is tag pushes down here into the third. Tilo trying to elevate her over some of the force fields. Did lose quite a few, quite a bit of infantry in that round. Charge is being worked on. It may have been barely canceled in time, but the Twilight Council is still taken down. Doesn't matter though. Storm is being researched. The Templar archives are up somewhere. Where are they? I am just going to be searching all day today. There they are, hiding down at the third. Another command center going up for TLO. He knows that this is going to be in for the long haul. Getting ready to take his fourth base. I'd like to see with the map control that he has, I'd like to see him be gutsy and take the high yield. I really think he could hold it, especially now that he has the three, five ghosts on the field. There, the, the other ones come. These ghosts are going to be pivotal, to say the absolute least. Some more little front pressure play coming in from TLO. More multi-pronged attacks. So, so deadly from the Terran. As Stim moves in to attack from both sides, supply block coming in from the destruction of even more pylons. You know what we see? The, I would call this the nail on the end of the coffin. Coming in to just finish everything off. Now, Blink has finished. This immortal is going to do plenty of damage first to Marauders if you can catch him. Oh, we medevac taken out there. More of them just loaded up and now an attack straight on the front door. Thielo runs in and stems, trying to get, he forces two uh, high Templar to immediately warp into an Archon, takes out the others before they can even hope to drop a storm. Wonderful EMP is going down, look at this army, it has absolutely no shields, and one sentry has energy. And that's probably because it was maxed out, and he can only take 100 energy away. He's going to take out this Nexus, which is going to prove to be crucial. Feedback's coming in to at least reduce the ghost energy, but knowing that he can't do anything, GG says AI Honor leaves the game. Fantastic play from TLO. Absolute trademark Terran play, which is multi pronged, keeping your opponent on the back foot, constantly harassing two medevac, three medevac drops at a time, sniping out crucial, crucial buildings. Absolutely amazing. AI Honor, to his defense, did a great job trying to tech switch when he uh, when he saw the comm site go down, and then as soon as it disappeared, he took away the thermal lance and went for blink. But TLO was just too fast getting there, saw that the council was down and researching, took it out, took out the bay for good measure, and from there, it was just going downhill. So, another wonderful game, another wonderful time. 
And until next time, I will see you later.